We're living in a world where the digitization of everything has become accelerated. This acceleration has been driven by what we call the four technology superpowers. Ubiquitous computing, cloud to edge infrastructure, pervasive connectivity, and AI. Just last quarter, we launched our 12th gen Intel Core desktop processors, headlined by the world's best gaming processor, the Intel Core i9-12900K. These processors are Intel's first performance hybrid design, featuring two core architectures, performance cores and efficient cores. And today, we're going to expand the 12th gen family further, starting with the announcement that we're in production of our brand new 12th gen Intel Core KS series processor. It has a whopping 5.5 gigahertz single core turbo right out of the box. Here I have the game Hitman 3, which has been optimized for our new performance hybrid architecture. You can see the game here, and GB said you were gonna get those P cores at above five gigahertz, but you'll see those are hitting 5.2 gigahertz across all cores right out of the box. I'm thrilled to announce that starting today, we're bringing our new hybrid architecture to performance laptops with the launch of eight brand new 12th gen H series mobile processors. With up to 14 cores and clock speeds up to five gigahertz, our 12th gen H series delivers up to 40% higher performance than our prior generation. When we tested it in our lab, we said that our systems got 49% higher frame rates. And we have Rift Breaker at 27% higher FPS. Now today, I'm pleased to introduce more than 20 new designs powered by the H-Series processors from partners including Dell, Gigabyte, HP, Lenovo, MSI, Razer, Republic of Gamers, and more. This includes the 12th gen core, up to 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, high-speed PCI Gen 4 storage, and Intel Wi-Fi 6E is built into every 12th gen platform so you can have confidence in an uncompromised on-the-go experience. And with that, I'm very excited to announce we're in production and shipping a new product line called the 12th gen Intel Core P-Series. This family includes six brand new processors delivering up to twice the performance above our 11th gen U-series systems in market today. And with our next generation processors, codenamed Raptor Lake, on track, already booting Windows, you can expect even more advancements from us in performance and choice coming later in 2022. And today, I'm pleased to announce the third generation of our Intel Evo spec. In this spec, we're adding new technologies to the platform, including Intel Wi-Fi 6E, background dynamic noise reduction using the AI engine built right into the platform. And for people looking for additional performance, we're extending the spec to include select 12th gen H-series designs and an option that includes our new Intel Arc discrete graphics that you're gonna hear more about later. To have a 45 watt processor, a discrete card and something that looks like a U chassis is incredible. Yeah, I love it. I love that design, it's absolutely stunning. The first thing we have is we have my iPhone here, but you can see my iMessages and SMS texts are showing up on my Evo laptop. Not only can I see them, I can easily reply. Now, there's also devices that are attached to our phone, such as our watches. So let's go ahead, make sure we can got everything in here. We'll go to our health, and you can see I've got my heart rate and my oxygen rate right there. I can also take a look at my recently captured ECG captures. Many people also love second displays when they travel. So let me show you how I can take my Android tablet and turn it into a second display. We're going to click on our tablet. We're going to hit extend screen. And you can see how my workflow is already moving across both screens. To build on the momentum you just shared, I'm excited to announce that we are now shipping our Intel Arc discrete GPUs for 12th gen Core 8 series mobile designs to our leading OEM customers. This is Alienware's X17 that will enable a premium laptop gaming experience powered by 12th gen 8 series, Intel Arc, and Alienware's Cryotech cooling. Which brings me to Deep Link, a collection of technologies where our CPU and GPU architects have collaborated on the platform level to deliver better experiences with Intel Arc graphics and Intel Core platforms. 
Our first technology in the Deep Link portfolio is called Dynamic PowerShare, where the processor and graphics communicate to have an optimal set of performance levels depending on the workload. When graphics needs more power, it can shift the power from the processor and vice versa. With the rise of social media, video editing has become a major workload for PCs. Now with hyperencode, this is where we leverage all the technology in the platform and automatically divide the encoding work between the CPU's integrated graphics and the discrete Intel GPU. This speeds up the encoding by 1.4x. And to deliver the best experiences on Arc, we partner with major game developers to optimize for Intel devices. As part of that work, I'm excited to announce an exclusive partnership with Kojima Productions and 505 Games. The director's cut of Death Stranding will be coming to PCs this spring. This is the definitive version of the game, with additional game modes, a new infiltration mission, and extra content. For example, the game will deliver optimal core utilization on 12th gen Intel Core processors and XCSS, our AI-based image upscaling technology for our GPUs. With the director's cut, gamers can explore a vast world of ultra settings and high performance enabled by XCSS. We've also been working with 10 leading studios on multiple engines and multiple titles. We're enabling a broad collection of XCSS games throughout 2022. And now for the final announcements of the show, I'd like to take everyone on a journey from the client to the edge to show you how Intel and Mobileye are going to drive us into the future. Uh, you see here in this uh, clip, as we are uh, driving, we're going to take a right and this uh, rural road, uh, that there are no lane marks. Now, the two uh, magenta lines are uh, the strength, central drivable uh, paths. You see there is one oncoming and, and one uh, the path that we are driving through. So without the map data, it would not have been possible to, uh, to do lane centering in this kind of uh, road. This is a very important feature, not yet available at, uh, in the drive, Travel Assist 2.5, uh, where you can provide a very powerful customer uh, function to prevent cars from running a red light. Uh, it's not enough just to detect the red light, one needs to know the relevancy of each traffic light with a drivable uh, path, and this is also provided by, uh, by the map uh, data. If uh, we look at the, at the coverage, we have uh, 2.5 million kilometers of uh, road uh, covered in, uh, in, in Europe. Uh, but you can see the, the richness of the, of the driving uh, situation. You know, after all, it's Paris. Paris is very, very difficult, uh, um, very difficult scene to, uh, to drive in, even for a human uh, driver. And you can see the kind of uh, testing uh, we can do, um, you know, the smoothness of, uh, of the drive. Going back to, uh, to our chips, you know, our IQ chips, you know, we have been uh, designing, manufacturing them for the past uh, 16 years. Uh, we just announced uh, 100 million chips being uh, delivered uh, since uh, 20, 2004. I'm showing here the, the, the crown jewel. IQ Ultra is an AV on chip. It is roughly equivalent to 10 IQ 5s. It's on a 5 nanometer process. There are four families of uh, accelerators that uh, Mobileye has designed over, over many, many years. There are 64 accelerator cores in this, uh, in this chip, divided into two, uh, in, into two parts of uh, 32, such that we can provide with an external MCU and ACLD uh, system. There is a GPU and ISP for, uh, for visualization. Power consumption is very, very light, is way below 100 uh, watts. It's 176 uh, uh, tops. And it's important to, to mention that TOPS is not, IQ Ultra will have also 12 uh, uh, risk 5 uh, cores, each is a 20, 24 uh, threads. So it's a very, very powerful chip. We'll be able to provide the full electronics of an autonomous car in a 2025 uh, timeframe, way below $1,000. Today we gave you just a glimpse of the advancements we're delivering from the client to the edge and we'll continue to harness the superpowers and drive this accelerated pace of innovation to deliver world-changing technology throughout 2022 and beyond. Wow.